Prince William is at the receiving end of a snipe from Meghan Markle, wife of his brother Prince Harry in a new US film about the royal family. The televised film Harry and Meghan, Escaping the Palace, was broadcasted in the US yesterday and explores the real details behind the Duke and Duchess of Sussex TMS decision to leave their royal duties behind. During the film, Meghan lashes out at the future king by stating if you're going to say it, say it to my face. The comment comes as on screen the Duke of Cambridge tells Meghan he had concerns she wouldn't work within the monarchy from the start. The scene follows the on-screen event of Harry and Meghan returning to the UK in January 2020 amid discussions about them departing from the monarchy over tensions. In real life, the couple moved to live in a mansion in Montecito, California after stepping back as senior members of the royal family. In the dramatization of the events, William is informed of the news of the couple TMS departure at Kensington Palace via an employee wielding an iPad. The film has come under scrutiny from royal fans for its villainous portrayal of the Duke of Cambridge. William is vilified for refusing to speak out on racism in the third installment of the Harry and Meghan film franchise. The actors portraying William and Harry are seen arguing as the Duke of Sussex lectures his older brother for not speaking out on racism claims made against his son Archie. Follow below for live updates. 11 AM Update Fury as close William and Kate Ally painted as true monster in new film The film has also come under scrutiny as Prince William and Kate's close ally is painted as true monster. Jordan Whalen and Laura Mitchell portray Prince William and Kate in the movie, and their right-hand woman is presented in an unfavorable light. The close ally painted unfavorably snubs Meghan, and divides the royal brothers, with many understanding her character is based on Hannah Coburn Logie. In real life, Hannah, the Duchess of Cambridge TMS private secretary, is responsible for organizing Kate's diary and meetings, in addition to accompanying the senior royal on engagements. However, during the film, their private secretary is painted as a true monster for a series of acts she completes against members of the firm. Their close ally, is said to call Meghan by an incorrect name Meghan at the Trooping the Colour ceremony where the senior royal family appears on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. In the film, the private secretary is also shown as not allowing brothers Prince Harry and Prince William to stand beside one another for the balcony photo opportunity.10 colon 50 m update Princess Charlene's condition reassuring after hospitalization due to sudden collapse Princess Charlene of Monaco's condition is reassuring, the palace has said. Charlene, 43, was admitted to hospital in South Africa last Wednesday after she collapsed, due to complications from an ear, nose and throat infection. But in an update on Friday, the palace said the royal's condition was reassuring. 10.46 AM update Pregnant Princess Beatrice glows at palace event as due date nears Pregnant Princess Beatrice glows as she was spotted arriving at a palace event yesterday. Beatrice, who is expecting her first child with Eduardo Mopelli Mozzi, attended the Ambassador Theatre Group's summer party at Kensington Palace. The pregnant royal was pictured being driven into the palace in a Black Range Rover. 10.06 AM update Kate asking Prince William for more PDA in new film branded Uncomfortable Kate, Duchess of Cambridge is portrayed asking Prince William for more PDA in the new TV film in a moment a royal writer has said made her uncomfortable. During the film, Kate, played by Laura Mitchell, is seen asking William, played by Jordan Whalen, for more PDA during public appearances, a moment which town and country TMS royal writer Annie Goldsmith, said left her feeling uncomfortable. Her feelings are likely because traditionally public displays of affection are against royal etiquette rules, especially when it comes to reigning monarchs or heirs to the throne. 9.30 AM update Meghan Markle and Prince Harry film slated by royal fans as doing more harm than good royal fans have hit out about the controversial film about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry after it showed the actors playing Harry and his older brother Prince William arguing over racism claims. Commenting on Facebook, one said, these so-called TV entertainments trademark are doing so much more harm when many really do believe that it is factual rather than fiction. Another Twitter user posted, Omb, 
Just Read William is portrayed as the bad one in the new film Escaping the Palace It Sounds Bad. A third wrote, that Dos and TMT surprise me in the slightest, the only positive thing about this is that even more people will get behind the lovely Prince William and gorgeous Catherine. 901 AM Update Netflix bosses hint we don't know the half of Meghan and Harry's upcoming projects Netflix bosses told royal correspondent Omid Scobie that the Sussexes were aiming so high as the couple branch out into Hollywood with production company Archual. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are predicted to step into Hollywood as Netflix executives hint that the couple are preparing for a number of upcoming projects. Royal commentator Omid Scobie said that a movie announcement could be on the cards for the Sussexes, as they branch out into scripted series through their production company Archual. The couple have already announced that they are working on two series, Heart of Invictus and Pearl, which are expected to be released next year. Royal author Omid Scobie revealed, that he had spoken to Netflix executives, who had hinted that the couple had a number of projects in the pipeline. He told the podcast Royally Obsessed, all that was said to me was oh man, you don't even know the half of what they're working on. They are aiming so high.